All right, so ring five, or as I call it, the clusterfuck ring. This is the most non-intuitive, confusing ring. This is the ring that trips a lot of people up. There is, um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the increases uh, until you do them. And this is where it really comes in that you kind of just have to know with ring five. The gist of this ring comes down to the rarer, no, not even the rare, the, um, the weapon you're not supposed to use with a specific ability is going to give you the biggest benefit. Generalized is going to do three, up to three, uh, more specialized, and that's going to be like with uh, single target ranged or single target melee. That's going to do up to five. And then if you have one that has a crazy weapon requirement, that's going to do up to nine. So, all that said, let's get started. So this one, the first one we have right here is the swords for mages. Now, this is going to increase all range by nine as opposed to any type of single target, any type of um, AOE, doesn't matter. Everything that is ranged is going to be increased by 9. That's why the Astral Sword is so good. Instead of 3, increase all range by 3 like you would with wands, this increases everything across the board by 9, which is just really, really crazy. So, you want to find a sword with a mage. Now, technically, this could work for an, an archer. No, it really couldn't because you need a bow. No, that's, that is specifically for a mage. All right, moving on. This is the same thing, kind of. It's going to increase all skills single target. And this does go up to nine, but it's going to require a staff now single target with this you would have to be using a two hand and um, attacks like double attack or um, multi-missile you know things like that that's going to go up to by nine but you have to have a staff which is a two-handed weapon which most people aren't going to use moving on to this one and this increases all aoe by up to nine this is the argument for pole arms with warriors. So you get bonuses in ring four and ring five to pole arms. And that's why people say, you know, you can go pole arm and do a lot more damage, which is true, but you, you, man, you really sacrifice a lot of defense by doing that. But this will go up to nine for all AOE, such as. Oh, whirlwind, or if you're using a pole arm on mage, you're going to be looking at mana bomb, um, storm, meteor, things like that. Okay, single target. This is specifically for, I would say, for a double attack warrior. This is going to go up to five, it's not going to go up to nine. So if you're using a sword or a mace, and the attacks are single target, it's going to go one, three, five. And this is this is a good choice for a double attack warrior. And the same could be said if you're using uh, a mage, but why would you pick this when you can get all skills up to nine with a sword? Um, I don't know. It, it, the, the redundancy here is is mind-boggling. I guess it's really for warriors because uh, with mages it just doesn't really make sense. Um, now increase all skills AOE. This is with a uh, mace or pole arm. This one, I the, the AOE. These two AOEs, I don't. Uh, I don't get, I don't, I don't get, increase all skills AOE by two, and that requires specifically a pole arm, and where to go, right here, and then this one, I believe this one goes up to five, 
so this has the addition of a mace so if you want to do AOE you can use a mace instead of a polearm and have a one-handed weapon and increase it up to five so your whirlwind would go up to five instead of uh, using a polearm with this over here and making it up to nine I don't know why they added a pole arm to this just leave it at mace I, I don't get it it's it's I guess it's just there to trip you up um, all right all skills ranged by one so again this is just like the other ranged this goes up to five and it has the axe requirement on it so if you are using an axe with a mage instead of a sword i guess you could get extra range out of it i don't know uh, the extra points because this is going to go one three five instead of the um two five nine or whatever it is uh, again i don't know why they put swords on there and not just put axes because why do that uh, it just doesn't make sense because you're not going to be using range with a warrior that's for a mage and then melee, all skills melee by one. And this is going to require a wand or a staff. <laughs> this goes back to this staff thing over here. They put a wand in there. So if you're a warrior using a wand for whatever reason, um, this is going to go one, three, five. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I, I, don't, I don't know these crazy requirements. And so we get down to... Um, now the bows this is going to be a passive in uh increase all passive skills by one two three uh this is a really really shitty one so i wouldn't ever put points into it uh all skills aura this is with a two-hand weapon so if you want to gimp yourself even further you're going to pick this skill with ours and it's going to be a one two three again i don't know and mace polearm uh, all skills active i believe this is a one three five and you know what these over here might be one three fives too but regardless they're shitty and that's shitty as well and then here we go um all skills range so if you're going to be using a wand you would have all skills range by three or that's all skills melee. Never mind. Yeah, all skills range by three. So if you're a wand using mage, this is the one that you're going to pick. So you see why swords are so much better. Then all skills melee. This is a generalized melee. It's going to go one to two and then two to three. So it's just a one, two, three. It's a generalized. It's just like this one right here. You're just going to gain three points. And then... Uh, oh, wrong thing. Increase all skills aura. So this is another generalized one. It's going to go one, two, three. It has no requirements, just like the other ones. And then increase all skills passive. It's going to do a one, two, three. It has no requirements, just like those other generalized ones. And then uh, all skills active. This is going to go one, three, five. So this is the argument people make with crossbows is that you get those extra points, ability points, by using crossbows into active abilities. But with bows, you're only losing that on two points, but you get more with infusions such as HSB or White Wing. You get more points, so there's really no reason to uh, do this with a crossbow. And then all skills passive, this is going to require an axe. This is going to go uh, up to nine. But why would you want to use an axe and increase your passive skills by nine? I don't know. It's there, I guess, to use. And then, again, this is going to be the same thing by up to nine with all skills aura. So if you want to increase your auras, such as... Uh, the only thing I can think of with a would be empower weapon, but that's really not a huge gain. That's that's a kind of a, a shitty shitty thing right there. And then here is the all skills melee by up to nine. 
This is the argument people make with daggers for warriors. Using this because you get up to nine. I argue that because you get benefits from swords in, in ring four and five. And it, uh, and it completely, like the Queen of Blades general stats, along with ring four and five, completely overshadow just that nine ability increase you get from daggers right here. But that is ring five, by far the largest and most confusing ring with the weirdest shit thrown in there. So if y'all have questions, please let me know. I'll try to clarify anything in there. Y'all have a good one.